Hey everybody, how's it going? I've had a bit of a checkered history with the Postal Service. Whether I'm literally begging them on the side of the box, saying, I will take you guys out for liquor, beer, and dinner if you simply deliver this express mail package to my friend in Connecticut. To me saying, hey, I caught you on camera taking all the stuff out of my store. Would you mind scanning it in and delivering it without the Postal Inspector Police coming in? To this. Steve and I have had a couple of disagreements when it comes to management here at Rosser and Repair. I often don't put the fragile sticker on the box. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of a sticker. It's a waste of a tree. It really doesn't make a difference. If someone makes minimum wage or close to minimum wage and is working in an unair conditioned truck all day, I don't think they really give a fuck what it says on the side of the box. I don't think they care. I don't think they're reading it. Most of the time, I don't even think they're reading the address that it goes to, as evidenced by the amount of packages I get that are supposed to be going to 141 West 26th Street on a regular basis. Steve argues that I should put the fragile sticker on the side of the box, that it will change the way the post office employee or the FedEx employee treats my packages, that he cares so much about his job that if he sees it says fragile, that he is going to lay it down as if he is doing a deadlift on a floor of solid gold. So I put the fragile sticker on the side of the box. I concede. I admit that perhaps I am wrong, and I should listen to my better. You think they're reading the fragile sticker, Steve? Hey, you gotta look at the silver lining. At least most of what we trust the Postal Service for, it's not stuff that's important. It's not gonna be a lot of conflict, because, you know, it's used for junk mail, it's used for random crappy catalogs, it's how I get people back their luxury Facebook machines and their vacation photos. It's not like we trust them for anything really important, like the outcome of a United States presidential election. Good thing there, because then we'd have some real conflict on our hands. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.